Let's talk a little bit about setting up the extensiometer on this machine. It's a little more work. Um, the extensiometer is a breakaway extensiometer. It's right here. And you'll see that this arm moves up and down. There's a locking pin that can come out of it. I don't want to take it out yet. I'll do it when I mount. And it mounts on the sample with these two hookovers. Uh, the transducer plugs in very simply here. There we go. It's all lined up. It's in. And now this mounts by mounting on our specimen, bringing over our two hooks. and pulling the pin so it can go up and down and read. Now, when we come over here to the machine, I have the signal set so you can see everything. That's the extensiometer. There's displacement, which is the physical movement on the machine, the up and down on the, on the head. There's the poundage, which is the load. And there's the extensiometer reading. Now, obviously, we need to zero this, and we're good to go. To run the test in an automated version, we, we've seen the manual, but now you need to see the automated. What we do is we set up the test using the test setup button. And let's do that right now. It's monotonic, which means single pull. We're controlling displacement, absolute. I set my limit. Usually, we can do up to five inches. I use one or two, it'll pull the sample apart. You put the time in. Now, why did I put in 335 seconds? I could put in any time I want, but what this will do is it's one divided by 335, or roughly a reading every three milliseconds. So it's going to take 335 seconds to travel one inch, which means when you backtrack all the math, we're going to get several thousand readers before this breaks. So we're giving the transducer time. We pull slow. Uh, we don't need to compensate. Our data acquisition consists of the displacement, the load, and the extension. If we wanted some others, we could bring them over here. There's time. There's additional sensors. But that's all I need. Remember, displacement and extension are not the same. Displacement is the movement of the machine. Extension is what reads on the unit. And we'll show you that in a moment. Data file tells us where to put the data. I'm not going to change this. This is set up to something old, but it's quite all right. And I can give it a header, and it will make an Excel file for us when we're done. And when we're done, we're good. Now, the limits are probably because we just put this in, so it, it, it has the limits, so we can reset everything. And then to run the test, I would just hit the button. Now, I don't want to break this sample, but I do want to show you what it does. I'll come over to manual command. This has to be off to run the test. I'd have to click that off. But if I click it on, I'll just manually move up and down a little bit, and you can see the results. Boom, boom. Let's go over to the left. And you'll see that the displacement is 0.0011. The extensiometer is 0.00042. See, we had to move that much to get the steel to move, and we're up at 212 pounds. So these two are not the same, extension displacement. And once you understand that, it's good to go. To run the test, I would simply, here, I'll go back to zero. Whoops, wrong one. There we go. Go back to zero, turn that off, hit the run button, and this test would then run, pulling up to an inch, it would break the sample, and we would have the data in our Excel file. 